Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is a new series on this channel where we're going to be deep diving into CV tools within Ableton Live. So, what is CV tools, you might ask? Well, CV tools is a collection of capabilities that will um, incorporate your modular gear. So, whether it's semi modular or if it's uh, your full 21U Eurorack wall, um, how to incorporate that into Ableton Live, but also vice versa. So anything that is CV powered or CV driven can be automated by CV tools. But you can also use, for instance, your Eurorack gear to automate things in Ableton. So it is actually bridging that gap, as mentioned, between the physical and digital worlds. And I think that that's a great thing. So before we dive into the actual uh, pieces that we're going to be covering in this episode and all of the following, I do have to thank Ableton and Expert Sleepers for sponsoring this series. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on one of the capabilities in each one of these videos. So in this one, I'm going to be focusing on the CV instrument, which is probably the best known uh, capability within CV tools. So what will you need to follow along at home? You will need to have Ableton Live 10 or 11 installed, fully licensed, the whole shebang. And you're going to need a so-called DC coupled audio interface. And I will, of course, recommend the Expert Sleepers ES9 because it's a purpose-built uh, unit and a purpose-built audio interface uh, in the, well, Eurorack module form factor. And it is meant to be used in this capacity. So perfect perfect one there good choice for everyone all around uh, but if you have a different dc coupled audio interface uh, you can still follow along but you will need to make some uh well make some tweaks to the actual settings and i will refer you to your manuals or other resources online for them uh, then without further ado let's dive into those settings that we need to do so go to options preferences the audio tab and double check that the driver type is set to ASIO and the audio device is expert sleepers or your DC coupled interfaces name. And then double check that the input configuration is marked active for all of the, um, well, for all of the inputs that you want to use. So on the ES9, I've got 16 inputs and I've activated all of them. And the same thing is true for the outputs. So activate all of the outputs that you want to use on your audio interface. Keep in mind that if you're using an ES9, that the outputs marked one to eight on the actual physical device corresponds to outputs nine to 16 in Ableton, just like it did in VCV rack. So that's the same here as well. So while we have that, uh, you can then find the CV instrument under the instruments on your left hand side in your collections. So you can just double click or just drag it onto a MIDI group. And it's going to take a while. My laptop uh, is of course rather busy with doing uh, video recording, screen recording, running Ableton, audio recording and what else it's doing. Um, but there we have the CV instrument. So before we actually dive into all of these settings, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to do calibration. So let's just press that button and it's gonna guide you through all of the steps you need to take to connect your, uh, your audio interface to your uh, modular uh, environment. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, make a selection which oscillator we're going to be using. So I'm going to be using the harmonic shift oscillator from new systems instruments because it's just a great thing. So I'm going to grab one of them and connect that to the first input. So make sure we have everything set to low. There we go. Shouldn't matter that those are set, but who knows? And we then configure it to use the external in input number one. And you can already see that we get a nice audio signal there. So next we select a CV output, which in this case is of course number nine, which corresponds to the first 
output that we have there and let's connect that to the fault prerogative there you go next and then we first need to tune it to c3 so i'm going to be using this one all the way up to c3 oh almost there using the fine one a bit further down oh, there we go so what it's now going to be doing it's going to play a, a bunch of notes and it's going to listen to the actual note that it gets back and use that to actual calibrate actually calibrate uh, the, the 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 instrument so it's now getting the up all the way up that's pretty nice there you go and it's going down then as well and we get a pretty decent calibration result already sometimes you need to do it a couple of times until you get something that you can work with but uh, G sharp 0 to G sharp 7 is not too bad so let's finish that and now we have a calibrated instrument so what we're going to be doing now is in order to show you what you can then do with it is I'm going to grab another cable and go to the output and bring that into my mixer so everyone at home can listen in as well so you hear the actual note we now have which is probably still the C3 and I'm just going to grab a MIDI file courtesy of Clemens Weiss Music Productions and I'm going to up the tempo a bit and we can just listen to it there we go So it sounds perf perfect in the lower regiments. And we go up. <laughs> so what did we actually see? You saw how easy it is to configure your audio interface in Ableton Live and you then saw how I went through all of the, well, um, the wizard, and we now have a fully calibrated um, um, instrument that we can use and record with if we want. Um, of course, in later episodes, we're gonna do a bit more on all of the other capabilities, but let's dive a bit deeper into the actual CV instrument, because one of the things we can now also do is we also get gate information. So we can use that as well and say, okay, well, we let's output the actual gate to output number two. So that's 10. So you already start to see the ES9 lighting up. So let's grab that and connect that. So well, let's uh, connect that to the uh, Z2040 uh, uh, VC gain. Let's grab this and put it there and grab the output. <laughs> so this is how you then use that. So you can do gate and trigger course because this is just a an oscillator uh, we we need to use it as gates and if you do a trigger then you're just going to use these little plucks here and there but if you put it on gates then you start to hear what we actually want perfect so I hope you enjoyed this first episode on my uh, CV tools uh, series if you've got any questions, any comments, any sort of feedback, uh, let me know in the comments below or drop me a line at jesper at the modular clubhouse.nl. Other than that, I would say, well, hope you like this and um, let's, well, let's see what we have for our next one. That's going to be on the CV triggers. So until then, I would say, well, thanks so much for tuning in. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope to see you then. Cheers.